also we can have two firewall we can have a firewall filter inbound and outbound on inet 6 so we're going to do the command set family inet and if i do a space question mark see that i have an option for filter so we're going to use this to, again for packet filtering set family inet filter and then do a question mark we're going to apply this filter inbound to R3. And we're going to do that with the input statement. We also have output. If I do a question mark, it's going to ask us for our filter name. So this is where we're going to put block ICMP. Just like earlier when we named it we named our firewall filter block ICMP above. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. Hit enter. So we'll go to the top of the configuration and this is the moment of truth. So let's go ahead and commit and then we'll see what happens. On R1 we're going to be looking at this and now we can see that right away we are getting the statement communication prohibited by filter. So obviously this is not working now. It's given us an error message back. Now I could also change this. If I go to router 3 And let me just show you something real fast. So I'm going to go into firewall filter block ICMP. If I do a show, let's do this. We'll do set term T1, then discard. So I'm going to go ahead and start this again. Now, if I go ahead and commit this, now you can see we're not getting anything back from R3 at all. This traffic is being discarded altogether. It's not coming back with the communication prohibited by filter anymore. So this, obviously, if you don't want anybody even knowing about that it's getting reachability back to your router or your interface, then this would be the be best way to do it would be to discard it all together instead of reject it. Because the reject sends the message back saying communication prohibited by filter. If I discard, obviously you can see now we're not getting that at all. So it looks like our firewall filter, our basic firewall filter is working correctly. We did a source ping from router 1's 11 network to the destination on router 3, which is the 33 network using ping which is ICMP and you can see that once we applied our firewall filter inbound to the LT32 or the logical tunnel 32 interface on R3 we can see that we are not unable to reach that anymore however if I were to go to router 1 what's going to happen if I try to ping and I source it from the 1 network Let's go ahead and see what happens. On R1, if I do a ping to the 33 network and then just source it from the 1 network. So 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. And as we can see, we have 